Hi friends, Miss Lofty's here for another social emotional learning read aloud. Friends, I can't believe how big you've gotten this year. I can't believe how much you've learned. You guys are so smart and I know you are ready for kindergarten. So today I want to read you a story about going to kindergarten. All right, guys, our story today is called Look Out Kindergarten, Here I Come. I have a feeling that a lot of you have this book at home, so you might be able to read along with me. It is written by Nancy Carlson. Wake up, dear, said Henry's mom. It's the first day of kindergarten. Oh, boy! Let's go, said Henry. He had been getting ready for this day all year. Not so fast, said his mom. First, you need to wash up and get dressed. So, Henry brushed his teeth the way the dentist had shown him and washed behind his ears. Then, he buttoned his shirt and snapped his jeans and almost tied his shoes. Okay, I'm ready for kindergarten, said Henry. Not so fast, said his mom. First, you need a good breakfast. So, Henry ate three pancakes and a bowl of fruit and drank a big glass of milk. Now I'm ready to go said Henry. Not so fast, said his mom. You still need to pack up your supplies. Gosh, Henry is really excited. He really wants to go to kindergarten. So Henry packed pencils, scissors, crayons, paper, glue, an apple, and a photo of his mom and dad in case he got lonely. Remember, we've talked about lonely. Lonely means you feel like you don't have, have anybody to talk to or maybe you really miss someone. So that's a really good strategy, friends. I'm glad Henry brought a picture of his mom and dad. You might do that too. You might put a picture of your family in your backpack when you go to kindergarten. That way you can look at it if you start to feel sad or miss them. Now I'm ready, said Henry. What do you think we'll do first? asked Henry. Do you think we'll paint? Sure you will, said his mom, just like at home. Good, said Henry. What else will we do? You'll probably learn all your ABCs, said his mom. Hey, I already know the letters in my name, said Henry. What will we do after that? You'll sing songs and play games. You might practice counting, said his mom. One, two, three flowers, said Henry. I can count to ten because we practice counting with buttons. What comes next? You'll make fun things in arts and crafts. And you'll read stories. But I can't read, said Henry. That's okay, said his mom. You'll start by listening. Reading comes later. So here we are, said Henry's mom. It's so big, said Henry. What if I get lost? Remember, we found your room and your cubby at Kindergarten Roundup, said his mom. But... You can always ask a teacher for help. When Henry got to his room, he saw lots of new faces. He said, I want to go home. Suddenly, Henry wasn't excited anymore. He was scared, he was a little nervous. Why don't you come in and look around, said his teacher. Miss Bradley. Henry looked around. He saw the art corner. He saw letters 
for numbers that he knew. He saw a bookcase full of books and he met a friend to play with. Well, what do you think? asked Henry's mom. I think I might stay for a little while, mom, said Henry. Because kindergarten is going to be fun. And that is the end. You guys are going to love kindergarten. You're going to be kindergarten superstars. There's going to be a lot of things that are just like pre-K. And there's going to be some things that are different for bigger kids. Because you are so big. You have grown and learned so much this school year. And I am so proud of you. You see my big smile? All right, guys. I hope to see you soon. Bye.